How to use sections in PowerPoint 365. Hi everyone, this is Deborah Sable and I'm going to demonstrate how to use sections in PowerPoint 365. On my screen I have a PowerPoint presentation open and as you can see down in the lower left corner it has 28 slides. That's a pretty long show so um, in order for me to work with it when I want to make any modifications or edit it in any way, it helps to divide my slides up into sections. As you can see, I'm in what's called the normal view, which means I can see the uh, slide that I'm looking at right now. The main uh, window for that slide is over here on the right hand side. And on the left, I can see thumbnails of all of my slides. As I scroll down, I can look at all the slides this way. Well, take a look right here. Here I have something called introduction. That's the first section that I created. And the introduction section only has a couple of slides in it. So when I close this, this is right now it is expanded out so you can see all the slides in that section. So if I click this little uh, triangle button, it will close or, or uh, collapse all of the slides in that section and it tells me how many slides there are in that section. There are, currently there are four. And then it's showing me the next section called Understanding Security. And of course, I gave it all of these names and I'm going to show you how I did this. But first, I want to show you sections as they look after you create them. So you can toggle them open, the sections, you can expand them or, or collapse them. And again, I'm going to do that to this section, understanding security. Those slides will now be collapsed. Looks like there are nine slides in this uh, one section. And there's another section called getting connected. I'm going to click its button to put it away. And so all of my slides in my thumbnail section are now collapsed. Okay, and it's telling me in this last section there are 15 slides. Well, I want to add another section to divide up into something more workable than just 15 because 15 slides is a lot of slides to go through when you're looking to edit just one of them at a time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is open or rather expand this section, getting connected. And I'm going to scroll through this list of just these 15 slides until I get to an area where I think another section should go. And I'm going to uh, click and drag this borderline out a little bit to the right to make these thumbnails bigger. So you can see them a little bit better. And here is the last slide getting connected, called getting connected. And after that, it starts a new section or a new group of slides called Maintaining Your Computer. And here it's even telling me this is the first of six slides that are in this group, Maintaining Your Computer. Well, I want to put a section here. I want to section off this slide, which is number 23, on down into and through slide 28. So slide 23 through 28 will then become my next section. To create a section, here's what you do. You click in between the slides and so until you, until you get this red line. And what you do is you click in front of or above the first slide you want to have in that section. So this is going to be my first slide in this new section, maintaining your computer, slide one of six. And so I clicked here and I brought up this line. Now the next thing that I can do is I can go up here to the home the home tab and click section. I can do a number of things here. I can remove sections, collapse, expand, rename once I have one, or add. Now I'm going to click away from here for just a moment and I'm going to show you another way to start a section or create a new section. You can place your mouse right in between those slides, right where that red line is, and you can right click. And when you get this little shortcut menu, you can also choose here, add section. So any way you do it, either way you do it is fine. I'm going to 
click here to put the line back. And I'm going to use the standard menu up here on my ribbon. So I'm going to click Section, click Add Section, and the section has been added. It's right here. When I add a new section, it is untitled. And this little box comes up. Now, you, if you blink, you might miss it because obviously it's, it's kind of hard to see sometimes when it's laid in front of a, a slide like this. So you have to look for it. Make sure that you have this little box up here. If you don't see this box, I'm going to cancel it. If you don't see the box, then all you have to do is right click on the untitled section uh, name here and click rename section. Now the reason we do that, we want it, we want to name all of our sections of course, and so we don't want to leave it as untitled. So here we're going to delete untitled section and we're going to give it a new name. And generally it's a good idea to name your section after the main objective or the main topic of these slides within the section. Now these slides are all about maintaining your computer. So in this section rename box, I'm going to type computer maintenance. Then I click rename and it automatically gives my section this new computer maintenance name. So uh, that's easy. So I'm going to click this little uh, triangle to close or collapse my section. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and in fact I'm going to collapse all the sections and I can do that right here clicking on the section button and click collapse all. Notice that when I do that the thumbnails disappear that's because they are all collapsed into their individual sections over here and I can open up any section I want let's say I want to open up this one and work with the slides in that one section okay so I don't have to go scrolling through a whole bunch of other slides you know uh, 14 or 13 slides that I want to go through to get to this section of slides I don't have to do that because they're already divided up into sections that are easy to find and work with